Hello kids, it's Mr. Ag here, and for our read aloud today, I'll be reading the book Nobody Owns the Sky by Reeve Limberg and illustrated by Pamela Paparone, published by Candlewick Press. This is part of our biography study, so this is a biography of the brave Bessie Coleman. Nobody Owns the Sky. When, you, when you're looking for children's books, look for the bear. It's your guarantee of quality. Nobody owns the sky. A couple of reviews here on the back. Bessie Coleman. Brave Bessie was the name people gave to the young pilot Bessie Coleman back in the 1920s when she flew as a daredevil stunt flyer in air shows all over the United States. Born in 1892, the daughter of a Native American father and an African American mother, she grew up at a time when it was difficult for any woman to become a pilot, but for a black woman it seemed impossible. All the same, Bessie followed her dream and in 1921, she became the first licensed black aviator in the world. The Story of Brave Bessie Coleman, Nobody Owns the Sky by Reeve Lindbergh, illustrated by Pamela Paparone and published by Candlewick Press. There was a young woman who wanted to fly, but the people said, kiss that wish goodbye. The sky's too big and the sky's too high, and you never will fly, so you'd better not try. But this woman laughed, and she just said, why? Nobody owns the sky. Up above flew the dove and the raven too, with the red birds red and the blue birds blue, and the brown hawks circling far and few. And the call of the swallows that follow the dew, when the high wild geese come traveling through, with the wind on their wings, flying free, flying true, she called to them all, and she said, Hey you, I'm coming up there too. Bessie Coleman grew up a century ago, in a cabin built near where the creek waters flow. She worked picking cotton as white as the snow, and watched cottony clouds up above come and go. Bessie wished she could rise up and fly high and low over Texas a long time ago. Bessie's mother had not learned to read or to write, but her children were raised to be eager and bright. Bessie worked hard at school, and she dreamed about flight. People said she was crazy. It wouldn't be right. You're a girl, not a man, and you're not even white. But did she stop dreaming? Not quite. She went off to college and wanted to stay, but it cost so much money that she couldn't pay. She moved to Chicago and worked every day at the White Sox barbershop, earning her way. White men can fly, why can't I, she would say, but the flying schools turned her away. Bessie manicured nails while the barber cut hair, and she dreamed about flying but didn't know where. Then one day someone said, fly in France, they won't care, that you're black and a woman. So Bessie went there. She was young, tough, and smart. She had courage to spare, and she took like a hawk to the air. Bessie came home a pilot, so happy and proud. She could ride on the wind, glide and spin in a cloud. Parachute, loop the loop, Bessie drew a huge crowd. When she flew over airports or fields barely plowed, her courage and daring had everyone wowed. Brave Bessie, they shouted out loud. 
on the ground, Bessie lectured to crowds big and small. People gathered in church or inside the town hall. Come and fly, boys and girls, black or white, short or tall. Come and fly, everybody. Come, answer my call. The air has no barrier, boundary, or wall. The blue sky has room for us all. Bessie's life was not long, but she flew far and wide. In Chicago, she showed off a Richtofen glide. Her air shows in Boston, her air shows in Boston left crowds starry-eyed, but in Jacksonville, Florida, everyone cried because Bessie's plane fa failed and she fell and she died. Farewell to brave Bessie, they sighed. Other young men and women soon wanted to fly, and the people said, Why don't you give it a try? The sky's still big and the sky's still high, but you're bound to get there by and by. Just remember her words till the day you die. Nobody owns the sky. Look above, see the dove and the raven too, with the red bird's red and the blue bird's blue and the brown hawks circling far and few, and the call of the swallows that follow the dew, when the high wild geese come traveling through, with the wind of their wings flying free, flying true. You can call to them all, you can say, hey you, I'm coming up there too. <laughs>